Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome back to War Thunder. I'm interested in the, uh, the Battle Pass vehicles for this season, and, well, I decided to play a few matches and just see how things are. And to sum things up briefly, good god the server issues. <laughs> Uh, my connection to server in War Thunder is absolute ass sandwich, and it's not entirely Gaijin's fault. Uh, the internet around here has been a little bit less reliable than I'm used to it being, and it wasn't fantastic to begin with. So if people could please stop shooting up the 4G towers, that would be just great. But. We're starting off with, uh, yes, that's around 130, 140 ping, and we're going to have some packet locks spikes between 5 and 10%, which is very, very bad. Uh, losing 5 to 10% of uh, digital information transfer is pretty catastrophic, and it's just kind of a... kind of a... A boon that the game doesn't kick me out of the match entirely with my Garbo connection. I suppose uh, the Slav Jank comes through for me sometimes, <laughs> but you'll notice that we're getting focused on by a Mosquito and a C202 who are going to be in league with each other for a while here, even if that P40 decides to find another target. Facing off against a heavy fighter at high altitude along with a nimbly bimbly pasta boy is not the best of scenarios but we're gonna have a satisfying engagement here uh, and at the same time as I commit too much to a head-on with that British bombardier uh, he really should have had me there and it should have been a much much shorter engagement than what it turned out to be. Overall, uh, playing Air RB is difficult right now. Uh, it's difficult because of my personal situation. I've got three kids and they need me frequently. And when I'm dogfighting, I turn into a very, very grumpy person. Oh, that's why the P40 didn't join the engagement. I forgot that part. Wunderbar. Um, but I need to be able to be there for my kids, so playing a game that pauses is really helpful. Uh, generally what I've been doing, uh, dipping my toes back into War Thunder is when there is a quiet time in the house when one or two of the kids are asleep, usually including the baby, because he's the one that needs me the most and the most frequently, and oh my gosh, I was like checking out my baby boy's massive chunky thighs and holy crap dude this kid is built like like a like a weight trainer he's the little arnold schwartz a baby it's ridiculous the boy is stacked he's got these like supermarket thighs it's ridiculous he's got huge legs he's got massive muscles and uh he doesn't he doesn't crawl yet but he rolls around to get to places so he's got like rug rash all over his body <laughs> and uh kid doesn't care he likes the beat up look but uh geez what a what a manly little chunk he's he's gonna be way bigger than me and i just i just love it um but air rb uh, and airplanes in general in war thunder just not really working out well for me. It's the connection. It's it's really bad. And yeah, my local internet is the worst it's ever been. It's not bad, but it it loses packets and that's a problem. And I've watched my ping go from around 80 when I started playing the game uh in the same place and uh now it's up to 140 and that makes a huge difference in terms of competitive online shooters and that's sort of what we're engaging with here and it wasn't too bad for this engagement but what you can't really see 
is the huge input lag and that just it just kills me and you'll see here shortly and speaking of killing in the kill feed yes the mosquito just slammed into the ground I'll take credit for that one <laughs> and we get some hits into the C202 and something went wrong with his plane and he goes down for uh, my second kill but I'm gonna call that three and that was just a very satisfying engagement unfortunately there was about two hours of just fuck all happening in the game that wasn't worth showing to anybody and uh, yeah it gets annoying there we see some rubber banding on the ground forces that happens every single match and it's annoying but I love the PBJ so much I can sort of overlook that a bit but it really it's one of those things that just kind of ruins my attitude you know I turn into a grumpy Gus when those kinds of things are happening and you know what my little girls they don't deserve that <laughs> they, they don't deserve grumpy dad just because I'm having connection issues and uh, and yet you know what the p47 in this game still is a fantastic aircraft I was having kind of a bummer of a match and y you know what I was having a series of bummer matches with uh, with USA there's there's some incredibly strong German vehicles around this BR, and it just seems like the uh, the meta is not with USA at mid-tier, which is kind of weird, because I still think they have the strongest vehicles in the game. Uh, they just don't seem to pull it all together sometimes. Uh, it is definitely a mix. There will be days where it seems like America can't lose, and there will be days when it seems like your team just can't win and I'm not the kind of guy to blame my team but if I'm like at the top of the leaderboard and everybody else is just suddenly gone <laughs> well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it like I see it and just deal with it and when when I feel like I'm all on my own or I'm the only person I can count on you know what, in that moment, it's nice to be in the cockpit of a P-47 because there's not much you can't do with this aircraft. It's not the best at really anything. Uh, it's not even the best at ground strike for this BR, but the 850 cals really sing a fantastic tune and you're able to actually have some controllability when you're at high speed which you can really use even in these lower energy environments and even if uh, there's that you know fraction of a second input lag that I notice more and more because I haven't been playing for a while so I don't have all these maneuvers you know pre-mapped out in my head I haven't just reflexively gotten used to the to the controls being ass <laughs> and uh, other excuses uh, you'll see that we almost slammed into the ground there. That's part of the learning process. That's why we do these test flights digitally and not real in real life. Uh, I, I tell my wife though, I, I could totally fly an airplane because of you know I play War Thunder. I've even played on sim some. So the man knows his way around a hotas if you know what I'm getting at. And I've talked about the uh, I've talked about the P47 a lot I don't know if I'd say I've talked about it enough and it seems like there's there's just something about those spaghetti wheelie boys that have like zero armor and you hit them with 150 cals and like three of them go through I don't get it man I just live here I'm sure from his end there was a lot more spray and a lot less skill going on but you know my laser beams to death just sometimes they don't kill as much as I want them to but you know what? Other times they do. <laughs> and I think that also might have something to do with the fact that uh, I'm not as good of an aim as I want to be at this point. It's, it's been a while since I was into the game. But you've got so many rounds with this thing, you might as well shoot your shot. You never know what you're going to get. And we're starting to get ahead on SP here we can pretty much do whatever we want and you know I'm not really showing you everything that was going on today with my war thunder but uh, 
I didn't really play a lot of matches. This is a pretty good taste of what was going on, at least the fun stuff. <laughs> I'm not really sharing any of the frustrating goo with you guys because, yeah, you know what it is. You've been there. And I... I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna just play War Thunder when I have nothing else to do because it's a game that makes me kind of grumpy and I'm just like I'm bored man I'm tired of I'm tired of all the games I have but at the same time like I don't want to do stuff <laughs> are you depressed Toshio yeah probably a little bit but that's normal you know every now and then you just kind of get tired of feeling feelings and go into gray mode you know um, but I lost a lot of weight on a diet. I'm done dieting, so <laughs> my metabolism is like really weird right now. And, uh, and I think I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna focus on strength training for a while because, uh, getting, gaining muscle mass is actually really good for guys. Apparently, it's probably good for everybody, but. I can actually do that, so I'm interested in turning some of this moosh into muscle. Uh, speaking of, who is it that's sneaking up behind me there? It looks like a sweetie boy. Uh, one of the things about War Thunder is certain planes are like practically invisible, and that makes less of a difference when you have markers in ARB. But man, in ground forces, uh, in tank RB, mixed battles if you will it can be extremely difficult to spot those bf 109s and uh a21s or whatever they are meatball boys and uh i'm kind of surprised that didn't go through but it looked like we got a little bit of that uh overlapping armor segments feature <laughs> that uh they can multiply the effect of your armor thanks to volumetric shells. You know, I don't know, man. I feel like the game probably didn't need to have that. But yeah, the overall effect was that it made the armor meta come back a little bit. And you know, judging from the vehicle I'm in right now, I really shouldn't complain. It is nice to be able to survive a hit every now and then, and if that means that uh, you're also going to be on the receiving end of that their business, and you know what, that's just the price you pay. That was bad aim right there, but uh, thankfully my teammate is going to come through for me here, and I'm not uh, I'm not good enough at the the machine gun, lads and ladies. The machine gun eats the round. That's uh. That's as old as time. <laughs> I think machine guns have been eating cannon rounds in this game uh, since they were modeled in this game. <laughs> he could probably shoot a shoot a zero in his uh, engine cowling mounted rifle caliber machine gun, and that'll that'll eat your flak round or whatever it is. But you know what? It's War Thunder. The good, the bad, the ugly, and we are being really ugly. Ug yeah ugly right now you can tell i was itching for a taste of those good times again and uh, you can see i'm up at like seven percent packet loss 130 ping so we're sucking down that sweet server sauce as slowly as our tiny little straw can manage and uh <laughs> may the packet loss always be in our favor hopefully it's the enemy packets that won't make it to my tank and not the other way around but you can tell we're pining after the good times we want to actually have some fun in the game right now so we're taking out the most OP tank in the game as far as my experience and you know what it felt good <laughs> it felt real good to do stupid stuff like this just drive straight out there by the way I'm freaking blind I can't see anybody even the people that aren't all booshed up, by the way, all gillied up, but uh, I can't see. I just the lighting in this game. It's been a while. I can't recognize what's a tank and what's a rock or a building. Uh, what's a boosh and what's a bush? And so you know what? I'm just gonna push. <laughs> I'm gonna play uh, Soviet style in in the true 
uh, Clement Veroshilov Dream Tank. It just the most overpowered vehicle in War Thunder is as far as my score goes. And that's on full display here. It, there's not many vehicles you can play this stupid and get away with. And you know what? Sometimes it just feels good. <laughs> it just feels dang good to uh to just roll right up to somebody and start punching them in the cannon breach. I'm I'm not sure that that's where I was actually pointing, but you know what? Whatever. They're not getting through either. And uh, you know what? The visuals in this game are looking pretty nice as well, even if uh, I've got grass turned off in the gunner's sight. And honestly, the, the ground cover for this map is not super impressive. But, nah, it is what it is. I've had to make some concessions for my graphics card as well. I, I wanted to upgrade, but uh, you know what? That that good new graphics card is just kind of not available anywhere. So I guess I wasn't the only person that had the idea of spending my government stimulus check on computer gaming apparatus. But that's okay. Other than that, um we're doing well here my my kids are growing up stupidly fast my little girls are freaking adorable brooklyn is getting more and more into anime and she loves recognizing the anime characters she loves superheroes so i introduced her to yu yu Hakusho because i found out that was on hulu and uh we have the hulu in our house and we've been enjoying watching that together it it takes me back man i used to catch an episode of that one every now and then on i think cartoon network and uh it's just neat to have access to all that stuff on demand you know as a as a child of the 90s that still blows my mind that you can just watch an entire show all at once whenever you want from you know the comfort of your own home you don't have to buy like tapes <laughs> or or dvds like you just you just tell people what you want to see and that's what you get to see and that's you know what that's pretty neat and uh to all of you guys that decided to hang out with me here as we uh perform the death of a thousand cuts on this uh, lvt i think it's called you know what it's been nice having you guys around and i'm gonna try to continue to spend less time playing games and uh, less time making videos and more time uh, getting healthy, getting things done, taking care of my kids. Okay, that one didn't actually fire, so we shoot our shot. It looks like his turret crew is already dead. Uh, it looks like, is that a French? I think that was the French 40 mil truck. Looks a lot like, I think there's an Italian 40 mil open-faced salami sandwich that looks just about the same but uh, either way machine gun did the job and just in time too because another thing that happens is if you get your cannon breach taken out for whatever reason your coaxial machine gun will fire once and then be dead and I'm that, that's been in the game for a while and it didn't used to be that way but you know what that's okay Anyway, something of a rambling video, and uh, now this does not mean that I'm going to be making a replay video anytime soon. Those take a lot more time, and I just thought I would share some of what I've been doing. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.